interested in one, one really sort of neat thing, and that's called the anthropic principle. The anthropic, anthropic principle. Anthropic principle. It is that you have these constants of nature, you know, with the various things, the speed of light, the charge of the electron, the various constants of nature. Now, if, constants. Yeah, the, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now, if these things were adjusted incredibly small difference away, if they were slightly different than they, than they are, than they really are, then you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have a, a universe with planets and life. Wow. And so. Like Mars ish. You, you you wouldn't yeah you wouldn't have this thing it, it, so and this really is it, this is trouble because most physicists don't don't want to buy the creationism story no they, they don't want to buy that they don't but, want to say that God made and God, it then. God made it but but the anthropic principle is is a difficult one because it suggests that everything was adjusted so so that we have the universe we live in so it's a perfect storm it's a perfect thing so what is the what's the possibility well one possibility is there are an infinite number of universes. And we have to live in the one in which the constants just have these values, so which you have life and human beings. That seems like an easy answer, though. Too. Yeah. But, well, meaning like you know, maybe I made my bed in one of the other universes, yeah, or I you know paid my bills yeah, in a different yeah. alternative. Yeah. Plane. No, I don't like that. The idea of an infinite number of universes. 